and welcome to another reaction. In this video, we're gonna react to Dreamcatcher Scream, but the dance practice version, because Dreamcatcher is actually my top three um, K-pop groups right now. They're in the number three spot in my little list. Number one is Luna. It's like it's just self-explanatory. Number two would be Itzy, if you guys were wondering. But yeah. Since they're in my top three, I just couldn't wait when the music video dropped and the album, it was the first thing I did while laying in my bed. So I was like watching it like that and I'm not gonna film a reaction video like that. It just has to be a bit nicer, right? So I already saw it and listened to it and like, I love it. Not only like it, I love it. It's like this EDM with rock mix is just like, it just was spot and the choral so dope. So yeah, since I am a dancer and I aspire to be a choreographer and a um, freestyle dancer, I thought, hey, why not also react to the dance practices of some of my favorite songs? By the way, so you guys know, my um, bias in Dreamcatcher is Sua and my bias wrecker is basically everyone else. <laughs> Uh, no, it's more or less it's Yohyeon and Hyun who are my um, bias record, but the other ones too sometimes. So we're just gonna go ahead and watch the dance practice of Dreamcatcher's Scream. But I think everyone said already the one dancer in the mask. I think she's filling in for Handong um, for when she's coming back from Idol Producer. So I think that's a really dope idea to like not totally exclude the member from the choreography. Ooh, that lift up, okay. One thing I realized, especially with that performance, they got a lot stronger with their movements than the other options. Yeah, they're fitting, like, but yeah. got so much harder and so bad. But Sua is still like... Oh, oh my knees. Oh, I know how much that hurts. Oh my God. I did that one time in a freestyle. <laughs> still hurting now. Yes, yes, I love that idea with the yeah, turning out that I think it's also the first time they use extra dances with too. One of my favorites next to this one. Yes. 
Yes, man. Oh my god. Whoever choreographed this one, like the whole like constellation and moving around and using the song differently, like everyone would go like crazy on the drop part and then to change it up to sometimes just like um let it milk basically is so dope to like you know divert expectations and i love the point choreography i don't know i think i thought uh, it, it is it means silence right because we used to do that in school or our teacher sometimes to like Shh, that's the silent wolf or fox or something called that so that's that's such such a dope idea also the I love that point also a lot and I think the chorus was different every time right it wasn't the same it has the same like elements and point things but I think sometimes they had it a little different and I love that a lot also the pointing out when Guyon is doing it alone is also really cool so it has a really a lot of cool elements one thing more is like they got a lot more powerful with their snapping and hits like doom ta doom ta i know they were always really um exact and um but sometimes i missed the energy and in this one they have so much energy like it just oozes energy out of the screen and i love that a lot it needs a lot of energy to convey that much power through the um, screen, computer screen or phone screen. Um, I talk from experience, like sometimes you're like, oh, I'm giving full out. And then you look at it and you're like, I look like I'm just, I'm just like marking it. It's like, it's a lot of presence and power that you have to have in it. So um, I applaud to that, to being like now more powerful. I'm definitely going to do um, a little cover. I don't know if I'm going to do just like one big section or the whole song or just like one um, chorus i don't know yet but um thank you so much for watching this reaction i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite part of the screen choreography and uh what did you think about dreamcatcher's comeback too and uh yeah subscribe like and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one Come